Uh, hello all, I'm Robert Rogers with Contra Costa County Supervisor John Joya's office. And I'm here uh, most importantly to celebrate your accomplishment and also to uh, share that we're happy to be a part of your team because we believe in this program and we believe in empowered people in West Contra Costa County. And that's what we've been fighting for along with so many other partners. We've eliminated justice fees for juveniles. We've eliminated most justice fees for adults. We virtually eliminated incarceration for juveniles in West County. We work with our district attorney and our public defender to clear records, to reduce fees. We helped fund and create the Reentry Success Center and so much more. All of it, so many people didn't believe it was possible, but we made it possible with partners like you and partners like Rubicon because equity is a constant struggle and we're in for that struggle. We're in for that fight. And the great work that you've done is a huge important piece of all that. I wanna echo and lift up something I heard from Josephine Farr right in the beginning. Uh, she talked about her mindset coming in, that open mindset, that willingness to learn new things, to learn new ways. That's growth, that's opportunity. That's the change that can happen. It's really our ability to learn that makes us powerful, that makes us youthful, that makes us able to do literally anything. Open-mindedness and a willingness to try new things, to do things new ways, to get new results. I wanna just share a couple other things that have helped me, and I hope that they'll help you. A couple of quick ideas, and I'll start with a quote. It's our failures, it's our sufferings that make us stronger. If we truly believe this, we will triumph. And that's that key part, that belief. Do we believe that those trials that we've been through have hurt us or weakened us or enlarged us, unleashed us? That's what we have to believe. And when we believe, we can achieve. So I wanna just echo and highlight a few points. One, it's the failures that make us stronger. We must believe it. Our struggles are our growth. We are always stronger than we can ever imagine. And our circles are our strength. I wanna to touch a couple of them really quick. It's when we fail, it's when it hurts. That's when we learn best. That's how we're biologically wired. When however many thousands of years or millions of years back you wanna go, it was when we were hurt by something, when something stung, that that lesson stuck. And that's how we survived and improved as a species. And that's still the case. Unfortunately, there's too many times when we fail and when it hurts and someone else makes us feel down about it, or we make us feel down about it. And we don't realize the incredible opportunity that that failure truly afforded us. Our failure was our biggest opportunity to learn and to grow and to get better. And it starts with believing it. Think in your own past. What is it that you really remember? You remember the failures and the pain. The question is, did you make those, those stepping stones, those opportunities? And I know it's no coincidence that that's the name of the program here because Rubicon, this team, they, they know what we're doing. They know what they're doing. This, this is a high level program. Our failures make us stronger. Our struggle makes us grow. And this is true across so much. If I put weight on your arm, and you lift that arm over and over again, that arm's gonna get stronger. Yes. If I confront you with information that you don't know, and you keep at it, 
you're going to learn that information and you're going to get stronger mentally also. Everything across our human experience is the same. When we struggle, we grow as long as we embrace that struggle. That iron sharpens that iron. We've got to be ready for it. You're sharp. You just got to continue to, to move forward with that sharpness. We are stronger than we can imagine every time. We never know what we can possibly be. Everything that's impossible, and I know you've heard this before, starts with understanding that I'm possible. Nothing's impossible as long as we embrace that challenge. We know who we are. We never really know what we can become until we go there. But I promise that what we become is always greater than we, what we think that we can be. So never forget, you are always stronger and capable of more than you can possibly imagine at this time. You just have to believe that. And lastly, your circle is your strength. This one's so strong. This one's so important. I've seen it in my own life so many times. Ask yourself, survey it yourself sometime. Who am I around all the time? Because they're a reflection of me. Because they make me, in part, who I am. Are the people around me helping me grow? Are they praying? And are they encouraging? And are they cheering along my success? Or am, are the people I'm around all the time doing the opposite? Do they maybe not want me to succeed? Do yeah. they fear my success? Yeah. I know that when I'm around a team like the people at Rubicon and the people who come through the door at Rubicon and work at Rubicon, I know that's a success team. I know I want to be on that team. I know I want to be around those people. I know I want to be with all of you right now this morning because I know you want me to succeed and I know I want you to succeed and I know that we're all strengthening one another. Ask yourself that on a daily basis. Who was I around today? If my circle needs to get updated, well, I need to update my circle a little bit. If you're around successful people who want you to succeed all the time, I promise you'll succeed. Our circles are our strength. So again, our failures make us stronger as long as we believe that to be true. Our struggle is always our growth if we embrace that struggle. We're always stronger than we can imagine. We're always capable of more than we can possibly envision. And our circles are our strength. Are we around people who make us stronger, happier, and more willing to take on challenges and lift us up rather than push us down? Ask ourselves that question. You're part of something special here at Rubicon, and I'm really uh, grateful and happy to be a small part of it also. Again, I'm Robert Rogers. I'm with County Supervisor John Joya's office, and I'm really happy to be here this morning and I'm happy to be part of your team. Consider County Supervisor John Joya's office always here for you and reach out in any way, um, you know, via your Rubicon team or to me directly or, or anything else. But most important, uh, please continue. The, step, the incredible stepping stone you've made today is only a beginning. Thank you. Thank you so much, Robert. That was amazing. I don't even know how we're going to follow up with that one, but I think 